Next is Colrutaria paniculata. This is number 29 on your list today. So Colrutaria paniculata has the common name golden rain tree, and it gets this name because it produces these uh, prolific panicles of yellow flowers and the petals rain down. Some of my uh, favorite memories were hanging out in my uh, master's professor's back patio under a gigantic Colrutaria paniculata and uh, having some adult beverages uh, discussing plant breeding while these uh, little yellow uh, petals rain down. Really fantastic times. Great tree. But uh, I'm standing in front of sort of a juvenile uh, adolescent uh, stage Colrutaria paniculata and much like what we're going to see in Kentucky coffee tree when they're young they can be a little bit awkward just like uh, humans are as adolescents. A little bit uh, coarsely branched and not really that great. Comes into its own uh, later in life. But the, uh, the, the leaves of Colrutaria paniculata, which I'm holding one leaf right here, they are pinnately compound. Easy to tell Colrutaria paniculata from Colrutaria bipinnata, which is bipinnately compound, so it's, it's more than once uh, dissected. But the leaflets, so this is a leaf, but the leaflets of Colrutaria paniculata are variable, uh, both in, in the, the amount of dissection and in their uh, serration. So somewhat variable in uh, leaflet shape. You can always tell that this is a leaf uh, and, not a, uh, and, and not this because you come to the base of whatever structure you're looking at and you determine is there a bud? If there's not a bud, then you keep going and it's not until I come to the base of the actual petiole that there is a bud. Okay, the, uh, and look at your slides for the leaf scar of uh, Coriteri paniculata. It is kind of uh, uh, unique uh, in a number of ways. So. Uh, again, bright yellow uh, panicles of flowers produce some prolific numbers, pinnately compound, alternately arranged uh, leaves in Colrutaria paniculata. Good tree, uh, give it some time in the landscape. Uh, once this guy hits its stride, it'll be uh, pretty nice.